Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at how to draw an infinity symbol inside Adobe Illustrator. I'm Kent and this is Diagraphics. So the first thing we want to do is activate the grid to make the drawing more precise. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Now zoom in on the canvas. After we zoom in on the grid, go to your transform panel. And if the panel isn't open, you can go to window and find it down here on the transform panel, right here. Now go to your transform panel, go to this drop down menu right here and uncheck align new objects to pixel grid. We are doing this step to avoid some common aligning issues. Now we want to start drawing. So go to your ellipse tool and find the ellipse. Then while holding down the shift key to draw a perfect circle, draw a circle in one of these squares. After that, select the line tool and draw two lines like this. The lines need to be half a square and go from the middle of the side of the circle. Now select the entire artwork, go to the shape builder tool and combine these shapes. When the shapes are combined, go to the rotate tool and while holding down the alt key, click on the middle of the circle. From here, we want to rotate it minus 45 degrees and click OK. Then once again, select the entire artwork. And as you can see right now, the bounding box is crooked. So let's go to object, go to transform and reset the bounding box. This will enable us still to snap to the grid. So let me zoom in one more time. So as you can see right here, if I select the artwork, the right side of the bounding box do not snap to this grid right here. So with the arrow keys on your keyboard, notch it to the right. Now it snaps to this line right here. Then we want to duplicate this shape. So hold down the Alt key to duplicate and then drag the copy just a little bit. Then while holding down the Shift key, rotate the copy 180 degrees. Now just notch the copy to the right until the pointy ends touch. Then select both shapes and select the width that you want your stroke to be. When you are happy with the stroke width, go to Object and go to Expand. Then check Fill and Stroke and click OK. From here, you can select the Shape Builder tool and combine these two shapes into one single shape. If you want to learn more graphic design, you can check out one of my videos on the end card right now.